The following is a presentation of William Patterson University Television. Hello viewers, my name is what? And my name is who? And this is the Fake News Network. You're full of all things chicky, chicky, slim, and shady. Stay tuned for our top story tonight, an interview with the owner of the illustrious WPU Geese Instagram page. Make sure to stick around for that. Stick around for that or else. And another news. Children are starting a new trend called blinking, and it looks something like this. Wow. A new study shows that scientists are wrong three quarters of the time. This news article could also be wrong. We don't really know. Robert Downey Jr. has now hit the new world record for Infinity Wars. I meant he has infinite awards. Japan's new, uh, new national anthem is the Wii Sports theme. Oh God, they're here! Don't get up, please don't go. There's more news to come. Let's discuss some weather in the meantime. Take it away, Kyle. Carl Cannoli? Whatever this joke is done. Now on to the weather. Thanks, Sally Sparrow. Today on the weather calls for a dry spell. The rain precipitation is at 31%. A barometer which measures atmospheric pressure like a, an aneroid and mercurial barometer has listed a high humidity count for the day. On Tuesday, there might be congealing water in the sky forming clouds offering a light shade of shadows on the lower tri-state area. Wednesday is going to offer a low dolphram count, which is a nautical term for the equatorial region of the light winds, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Harold, for that exciting reading of the weather. Get ready, because now we are going to head over onto Earl with the latest in sports news. Take it away, Earl. Thank you, Lord Efron. Today, Charles Zimmerling got sued for animal cruelty. Some may know Charles Zimmerling as the inventor of Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Well, today, all donkeys can rest in peace knowing that their days of horror are over. Truly exhilarating. Thanks for the coverage, Mr. Now onto our top story for tonight, an interview with the representative of the over 700 follower Instagram account, WPU Geese. Welcome to the show. Oh, oh hi. hi. It's, it's great, great to be, to be here. here. Thank, Thank you. you. So uh, what made you start the Geese account? Well, well the, the WPU, WPU Geese, Geese account, account originated when, when I was walking, walking one day on campus. campus. And, and I saw, I saw a goose, goose and, and I felt a presence towards this goose, goose. As, as if he was reading, reading my mind. mind. He, he was, was telling me that I have to inform all the students that these geese, geese are important, that, that we take, take over the school. school. The, the students, students must know about us and all of the things, things that we, we do. do. And I, I feel, feel like, like we should spread awareness of that. Huh. So, do you feel that the relationships between the students and the geese have gotten better since the page was created? I genuinely do think that the relationship has gotten way stronger. I see so many people putting up advertisements for our page. I see so many punk people repping all about it on their Instagram page. And I'm happy that most people are acknowledging the geese now. So if the geese could talk, what kind of message would they have for the student body? I think the geese would most likely say honk, and they would also say honk, honk. Also, the dining hall food here, honk. But regardless of that, honk. Huh. Honk. Can you give me your best honk? Honk! 
So when you graduate, are you planning to pass down the reins of the geese page to somebody else? I do, I do very, very much plan, plan on doing that. that. Since, Since I will not be here, here in about, about, let's say, three, three years, I know I, know I won't be the one able, able to control, control the page anymore. anymore. The, 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 the geese, geese and I, well, well more, more like, like the, the chief, chief. He, he told, told me, me that, that I have to find someone worthy enough for the page. page. Someone that can really, really make sure that the geese are known. Okay, well, thank you for stopping by today. Th wow, what an amazing and really confusing interview. Anyway, I would like to thank the owner and or owners of the WPU Geese account for allowing us to interview them today. Make sure you tune in next time where four people discover the ups and downs of breaking a world record. These brave souls will be attempting to break the world record for the longest game of Monopoly in an elevator. Anyways, I'm Med Toesby. And I'm Gregory Rat. And thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our daily news. This has been the Fake News Network, signing off.